Two guys out training for spring marathons. One has a real story to tell. I could hear the second explosion, which was just up about, I think, a tenth of a mile. Kelly Flowers was running the 2013 Boston Marathon when a bomb blast changed his life. Can you tell what that was or what you think it was? There's so much noise on the course, you just think it's something to do with a celebration. On a megaphone, they announced to everybody there's been two explosions at the finish area. And everybody around me and me started getting a little hysterical because... Your family's up there. Everybody pretty much has family and friends at yeah. the finish. Shoulder extension stretch. When he's not running, Flowers takes care of runners. The equine variety. He's an equine therapist surrounded by injured limbs. Nothing worse than what he saw that day in Boston. You had a pretty good idea that it was really bad because uh, it was just a lot of blood everywhere. Eight-year-old Martin Richard was at the finish right next to the backpack bomb and one of the terrorists who never read Martin's sign. Martin holding his handmade blue poster board sign asking the world for no more hurting people in peace. Martin's seven-year-old sister survived, but like so many others, lost her leg. Her parents established the Martin Richard Charitable Foundation. Out of hundreds of applications, Kelly Flowers is one of 72 Boston Marathon runners selected to Team MR8 to raise money to be invested in education and athletics. I've been able to raise over $10,000 to this point, and it's really touched me and been kind of overwhelming the response I've had. He has three boys. He knows what it's like to have family buy the bomb blasts and have no idea what happened to them. You can always hear that take one day at a time because nothing's guaranteed to you. Yeah. But when you go through something like that and you see that kind of thing happen, it really hits home. John Bull, Wave 3 News.